Hey everybody, the latest update in the Frank Somerville suspension from KTVU story is beyond this updated post that he was not only suspended for good, but it wasn't over the Gary Petito social media debate, but something else. Now, in order to cover itself, my assertion that this wasn't an action done because Frank raised the issue about racism in coverage of the Gabby Petito case. What does KTVU do? This. Gabby Petito case renews call to spotlight missing people of color. Now, this is an article on its website. This is not a video news segment yet, but it is a kind of proof that, see, we do cover this story and it is worth looking at. They put not one, but count them, one, two, and three reporters on this. And now do they work directly for KTVU or Actually, they don't. It's from the Associated Press. This is from the Associated Press, and this was posted one day ago in the Associated Press, but it was greenlit by the news director at Fox. So Fox is trying to cover its, or CYA, all right, cover your bum, if you will, uh, by putting this post out and as opposed to any video that they may have done on the Channel 2 News about this same subject, it doesn't mean that it's not coming. This was a day ago, okay? But that this is here and put up just a couple of days after Frank's suspension is suspicious. I thought that the suspension was over much more than an issue regarding Gabby Petito coverage and race, but what I believe is that Amber Eichel was so perhaps surprised or taken aback by social media-based criticisms like this one, uh, for example, uh, on what she was alleged to have done, okay, that she reacted by reaching for an Associated Press article. Liz, seriously, not a real name, obviously, um, says uh, Amber Eichel, Team Frank, when domestic violence occurs in an alarming mate, why, why, why would you censure a trusted member of your team for broadening the topic? This is not opinion. There is data supporting the established fact that people of color violence is covered differently or not at all. And that's absolutely true, Liz, seriously. In fact, we have a example of that. Uh, another case out of England, um, where that's true. If you go to oaklandnewsnow.com, um, it's not just a problem in the United States, it's also a problem in the UK. Um, and as my blog opens rapidly, and we scroll down, we find uh, ah, that's something else too but that's the head of NetSuite squash open um, if you scroll down you will find justice for Sabina Nessa but Sarah Everett's death received more attention but why that's what this video concerns and we have this one Sabina Nessa, the teacher murdered in South London. A sad story where on the 17th of September, this woman left her flat to go and visit a friend at a bar, only she never arrived and was later found killed. She is of color, but Sarah Everhart is white. They received different coverage. Now, the reasons why are stated in this video, but my point is, my point is, 
that the problem is not confined to the United States. Okay? So, that's the update. KTVU, uh, ostensibly to uh, basically say, hey, we're not paying it, we're, we are not, not paying attention to this problem, uh, decides on Sunday that it's going to post an article, not a video or a news segment, but a, a broadcast news segment on television, but an article from the Associated Press that the Gambit Petito case renews call to spotlight missing people of color. <laughs> That's from Fox KTVU, which was undoubtedly greenlit by its news director. This person, Amber Eichel, right here. Let's see if she's made any tweets about it beyond her pin. Um, and she retweeted something out yesterday regarding Southern California, but not anything having to do with um, this, not anything having to do with Frank Somerville. And then she says something about, she retweets, I can't believe this, he won this, <laughs> he did. Congratulations to David Allen Greer. Um, and that's, that's it. She doesn't at all address, let's go to her other set of tweets real quick, the replies, and nope, nothing there at all, just about Cal Fire and the same thing. So, but Ms. Eichel is the news director for KTVU Fox 2. She did it. She also suspended Frank Somerville. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.